Hello and welcome to your Manifesting Maven channel. My name is Brittany Hiller and I am your Manifesting Maven. Today we're going to discuss how to manifest money into your life. Woo, the dreaded word money, 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 right? If you have a money mindset that is of lack, right? You're lacking in the money mindset. You're thinking that you aren't worthy of money. You've grown up with this idea that money doesn't grow on trees. Money comes with hard work. I wanna share with you a little trick I've been utilizing to receive money as if by magic. And it's called manifestation. So. Today we're gonna to discuss how to utilize manifestation and how to utilize it intentionally so that you can manifest what you desire. And if that happens to be money, because that's why you clicked on this video, I'm gonna dive in deeper on how you do that. So a little bit about myself. My name is Brittany Hiller and I'm the author and creator of Manifesting Maven, a book you can find on Amazon with the link below. And it shares with you my in-depth how to self-help manifest what you desire in your life, utilizing these key components that I'm gonna share with you today. All right, so our very first component is ask. You've gotta ask for what you want. So if you find that right now in your life, you find that asking a question is difficult, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm gonna stop you right there. Put the brakes on it. Asking questions get you farther in life, right? because a question never asked is always answered with a no. So think about that for a minute. Understand it. A question always never, <laughs> always never, sure. A question never asked is always no. So if you fear asking a question because you're gonna receive the answer no, you're already receiving the answer no by never asking the question. So let's dive a little deeper at how asking questions work in manifestation. I would love for you to take a moment to grab a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, whatever you desire, a journal, and write down what would it be like to receive? That's a question. It's a question that opens up possibility. At the end of that statement, place what it, you, what it is that you desire to receive, right? So maybe it's what would it be like to receive a million dollars in a year? All right, right? Like, what would it be like to receive extra income? What would it be like to receive passive income? What would it be like to receive money without working? What would it be like to receive money as if by magic? These are all fun questions that open up a possibility. And the trick is to let go of how it needs to show up let go of the conclusion around the question, let go of answering the question. Let the question unfold how it desires, how it wants to, right? So when you ask the question, whatever it is it may be for you, write it down in your journal, write it down three times so it sticks. Yeah, what would it be like to receive? And then write down what you wanna receive at the end of that, perfect. Now, after you have written this down, I invite you to take the action of meditation. Meditation helps us to visualize what it is that we want to receive, and we visualize it showing up within our life. This is where the power and the magic comes in, because you begin to see yourself already in that position. So take this moment to allow yourself five minutes each and every day, write down what it is you desire to receive. Meditate on it for five minutes. That's it, just five minutes. And as you're meditating, truly visualize yourself receiving that which you desire. So if you're wanting to receive passive income, visualize yourself receiving the passive income. What are the different ways that you're receiving passive income? What are the different ways that money is flowing into your life? Right, if you don't wanna work hard, if that's not for you, then allow yourself the opportunity to visualize yourself where you desire to be and yet your bank account is growing. Have fun with this. This is all supposed to be fun. <laughs> There's no 
hard work here. This is all fun. Okay, the next step is action. So as you meditate, you might find that during that meditation, you'll receive little, what I like to call intuitive hits. It's your intuition talking to you saying, hey, it's time to do something here. This is our next step. It might be begin selling t-shirts on Teespring, or it might be look into other passive incomes, perhaps become an affiliate for Amazon, right? There's other ways and these intuitive hits within your meditation might pop in. One of the things that I like to do personally is when I'm meditating and I receive a personal or like a, an intuitive hit, I'll write it down in my notebook and I'll go back to it. So for, for example, this space that I'm in right now is my yoga studio. I am a yoga studio and spa owner and I received this space during a pandemic. So you guys remember 2020? Yes. I was in a different space before this one and my intuitive hit when I was asking at the time for a water view didn't know how it was going to show up. I wanted to have a water view in my life where I could go and look at the water without having to borrow someone's dock, be on a boat or be at somebody else's house. I wanted something that I could go to at any time and this magical space showed up in my life. I'm, steer I'm staring at water out through this past this window over here. And so what was so magical about that though is I had no idea how it was gonna show up. There was no conclusion around it. I played with the question, what would it be like to have a water view? What would it be like to have a water view? So in my meditation, I received, go on Facebook. Went on Facebook, saw that my friend was moving and she has originally rented this location. From her renting this location and from her moving, I came over and asked, what is the cost of rent here? Has somebody else rented this? Is this available? Question, 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 which gave me answer, 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 which was, this is how much it costs. Yes, it's available. Who do I talk to now to be able to receive it? And thus, we have received this beautiful location for our yoga studio, Effervescence Yoga Spa. Believe. Believe is the next component, it's the next piece of this magical experience with manifesting. What I like to say, and I've heard this many times, Dr. Wayne Dwyer is one of them who says it, believe it to see it. And so often, so often we might have heard down the line in our past, I have to see it to believe it. So that snarky comment keeps us small. Whereas believe it to see it, gets you back into that visualization space that we were talking about earlier with meditation. So get yourself into that space of visualizing. Close your eyes, truly see. See yourself as the person receiving what it is you want. And then believe as if it is already real. Believe as if it's already real. Now, I know some of you, you might be, Commenting below right now, well, Brittany, I want to receive a million dollars, so I'm going to live as if I already have a million dollars, and I'm going to spend all my money. Now, no. <laughs> no, that's not going to get you where you want to be, and here's why. Um, we're looking to earn, not to lose, right? Looking to earn, not to lose. However, what you can do is receive the millionaire mindset. How does a millionaire think? What does a millionaire do? They typically save, right? They save. Um, they look for other investment opportunities. They typically take care of themselves. So these are things that you can begin when you're believing to see it, when you're living the lifestyle that which you desire to be in already. Think like then. So do yourself a favor, keep your here now, right? Keep Googling, keep looking up. What do millionaires do? How can I be like that? If that's what your goal is, right? Your goal may be something else completely, but if that's your goal, believe to receive it. All right. And then of course, the next one is receive. Receive is our final step in manifestation. When I received this location, I continue to share my gratitude for this beautiful space. And so as you receive, receive with gratitude. I am so grateful and thankful 
for and then whatever it is that you received, right? I am so grateful and thankful for. So what's fun is you can already begin to be grateful for that which you want to receive right now by writing it down in your journal. So write down your question and then write down how you're grateful for receiving that as if it's already shown up, as if you've already manifested it. All right, these just to backtrack, give you a little bit snippet again of what it is we went over. Ask, meditate, action, believe, receive. These are my five key components to manifesting that which you desire. <laughs> this manifesting video happens to be about money. So to manifest money, ask, get clear, how much do you want? Meditate, begin to visualize yourself receiving how much you want, right? Action, you're gonna get little intuitive hits. What, what is your next step? What do you do now to receive that which you're asking for? Take the action steps to getting what you desire. Maybe you start up a course about something that you enjoy and in love teaching about and other people purchase that from you. There are so many options nowadays, you guys, we are blessed. Hashtag blessed with the internet and the ability for us to receive education and information like that. You're doing it right now. You're receiving instant information about manifestation from your manifesting maven. <laughs> believe, right? Believe to receive. So again, you're visualizing yourself in this space of already receiving that which you're asking for. And then when you receive, receive with gratitude. Begin it now. Share your gratitude now for all that you have in this moment. You have the ability to get online and watch this video. Be grateful for that, right? I am so grateful and thankful that I have access to the internet. I am so grateful and thankful that I have access to information. The snap of a finger. How does it get any better than that? I wonder. Until next time, my friends, comment below. Make sure you subscribe so that you can get more Manifesting Maven tips. And I cannot wait to see you on the next video. Have a beautiful day, my friends. Until next time.